Hello and welcome PML fans. I am your host and head admin of PML, Joe Zamora. And with me, I have Adam John Croin, coach of the Trueberry Town Johto Beasts. Welcome, welcome. Hello, thank you. Thanks for having me. Alrighty, man. So what made you choose that logo? Uh, that is the uh, logo of our Shoes for Town football club. Uh, which is three lions. So I was thinking of Pokemon that would kind of sit all my town. So I just thought Entei Raikou Suicune and wanted to keep Shoesby Town in the name. It took me so long to come up with that logo. I was so happy with it when it came through. Oh, it looks awesome, man. Uh, it really, you can tell you put a lot of uh, thought into it. Really long name as well. Yeah. Yeah, for the one thing, but I was like, well, yeah, I think it'll work. It'll work. And uh, obviously, you put a lot of time and effort into that one. Would you ever consider changing it? Um, yeah, I think I, I think I would if, yeah, if I do draft league for long enough. Maybe I think of something else that I think would be more suitable as time goes on. But right now, I think it's just it's good enough. So, oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, that's a that's a really good logo. It's one of the best ones I've seen so far. So, um. What is your draft history? My draft history, I don't have any at all. I've literally been watching draft league for years, uh, and I do I do a lot of but a lot of Pokemon battles on like Pokemon Showdown and against my friends and things like that. But it's been something we've been trying to get going over in Shrewsbury for a couple of years, and we've never been able to get everything together, the people or anything like that. So it's never been something. I joined the group. Um, that I saw your post on like ages ago and then it randomly popped up and I was like, oh my god, I've been looking to join one of these for years. So, yeah. Was it that uh, Draft League one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got mad at me. I was like, oh, I thought it was like in general Draft League. Like Draft League in general could share here. It was like, yeah, we're changing the name. <laughs> like, oh, okay, <laughs> my bad. Nice. But I'm glad we got some uh, a few people out of that one, especially you. For like you said, you've never done one, and no, uh, no, some beginners luck. Let's hope for anyway. Oh yeah, I mean, I, my draft league is kind of built for new people. Like, uh, yeah, experienced draft leaguers are always like, "What's up with your draft format?" It's like uh, it's just quick, simple, and easy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, um, what drafts have you watched? Uh, that you've enjoyed? Uh, obviously, the, the GBA was the first one I got into while well, watching um, watching like YouTubers like A Drive and things like that. And then there was the the UCL. I watched that. Um, oh, yeah. I can't think of the name of the other one now. Fairly recent one. Um, they've all been they've all been singles ones. I've not actually seen any VGC. Um, draft leagues before. I know there was one. Didn't you do a VGC one? Or you're doing a VGC one? Yeah, I'm, I'm in a VGC one right now. Yeah, that's a very interesting one. Uh, yeah, I've only ever seen like single battles. I found it I found it really interesting because over the years of playing Pokemon, I only ever did doubles. I felt there was more strategy in doubles and then I found out I was obviously very wrong when I started watching like competitive <laughs> singles. I was like, oh, okay, this is actually like a lot more, there's a lot more in depth than I thought here and I started really enjoying it. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, singles and doubles both have their downfalls. Like, singles mm. is mostly switching, which turns a lot of people off. <clears throat> yeah. But then, doubles is a bunch of switching and protecting, so... It yeah, just... I was about to say, yes, switching and protect pretty much the same thing, is it? You just, like, yeah, you know, see if you think about it. It's... I I think just having an extra mon to support uh, a certain mon so sweeps are easier appeals to people more in doubles. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um yeah, <clears throat> we we do a uh, doubles leagues as well. But uh, since yeah. it's already hard enough to try to get sixteen people for singles draft mm. league, uh, we we we're, we're working our way. This is only our second yeah, season yeah. of YouTube. Uh, we do normal double draft leagues all the time. Like we're yeah. doing one right now. Uh, it's still going on, but it'll end before this season starts. <laughs> That's good. But um. That leads me to my next question. Uh, how do you feel PML drafts will be different from other drafts you've watched? 
Oh, that's a good question. Um, I feel there's, well, so there's there's a lot more, I know there's a lot more to draft leagues, a lot more like in-depth. There's more, a lot more in-depth in in things you can do, looking more into the coaches. Pretty much when I've been watching, it's been a very casual thing. It's been, I'll watch the people I like that I've already watched before. I feel I'll take this one differently as obviously being a competitor as well. I can pay a lot more attention to everyone else. I'm definitely looking to learn a lot more from this one than I would because you're going to learn a lot more by playing oh, yeah. than, um, than actually you know just watching. So that's, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. I can just think that I'm, I'm looking forward to learning a lot more and obviously just interacting with a lot more people in the Pokemon community because that's probably the one thing that I've definitely struggled to get into like any like Pokemon communities outside my town before so this is going to be quite cool oh yeah man looking forward to it as well and um if you watch like past battles in the PML channel you can kind of get a sense of what people like to do and um not many people from last season are playing this season because they've okay. already committed to other things but we've had a few returning people and uh, <clears throat> a bunch of new people who play our traditional PML draft leagues that are just for members only. And uh, they're giving their shot at YouTube now. So it's cool. certainly interesting. But mm. um, who do you expect to take number one in the draft? Ooh, I, I, wa I was looking into this, but it's... That's a thing. I had, I did have a list down, but I, I kept changing my list. I think after we were speaking yesterday about potentially not being able to do the draft, I kept thinking of so many different um, scenarios. Bear with me two seconds on that one. Oh, no, you're good. Take your time. I always, uh, I always procrastinate my draft, <clears throat> and, yeah. I'll, and I'll end up being like, okay, at the last minute, what do I want? <laughs> I just feel like I'm I'm gonna get to a point. I think I'm gonna be like that, where it's gonna be just trying to work. Well, trying to work out the best around the. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I put this list. Um. While you're looking at that, um, did you uh, did you start in Gen two playing Pokemon? Uh, no, well, I had Yellow. I'd say Gen 2 was probably the game I played the most. Crystal's my favorite game. Oh, yeah. Um, game. I think that was probably the the reason I picked it as well. I think it was just the, the two-generation thing is obviously insane. <laughs> like, well, two regions, should I say. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, so Gen 2, I'd say, definitely got more of, like, a, a special place than... Yeah, ever since then, people have been wanting it to happen again like they could have done it with the Kalos and the Galar thing but I guess they're just like no not yet no I know they were just they were just teasing that weren't they mm-hmm so close to the war and then uh all that story about the weapon causing wishing stars and stuff so it's what theory I know <laughs> I know I think it's to be honest Kalos missed Kalos missed so much I'm like there could have been so much more in Kalos, I think. But oh yeah, definitely. I could definitely talk about X and Y for a very long time. But I like, I thought it was a fantastic game, but I think they missed so much stuff. I'm still, I'm just trying to find this Google Doc with all with the uh, the draft in it. I can't find it now. Oh, it's all good. Um, I said uh, we have an Excel sheet. I don't know. Did you make a Google Doc for yourself? No, I was just looking. I was just looking through the Google Doc that you had in the uh, in the chat. That's what I'm trying to find. I just keep finding. I find the one with the rules, but I can't find the one with all the mons on. Uh, it should be the same one. The tabs are at the bottom that switch over mons and stuff. Oh yeah, that was it. That was it. So, well, the question was, what would I pick in, what would I want to pick in tier one? Yeah, who's your number one pick that you want? My number one pick would probably be Salamence. Another 
It's another. Per- it's a personal favorite Pokemon. I feel like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the stage of like so many personal favorite Pokemon, and then I just hope they kind of work together. Because <laughs> it's not gonna. There's like so many good in tier one, obviously. Oh Point yeah. <laughs> I mean, Ditto. Ditto in tier one kind of confused me a bit, but I'm not, But again. Oh yeah. I'm sure I'll. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll understand why at some point. So basically, with Ditto, um, it was like. I've even had people wanting to ban Ditto because basically, if you have a plus three Salamence on the field and someone yeah, sends in the Ditto, yeah. they got the yeah. plus three with the scar. And it's just like, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, I can, I can see that. But yeah. But uh, I, I was always like, eh, there's ways around it. It's fine. It's of not course, yeah. Man. Well, how do you feel about the uh, draft tiers? I think they're fine. Uh, I think I've not. I I don't see like Ditto just more like confused me in the one, but there are a few that and I like this Pokemon like um, Nagadel in it and things like that. Again, it's actually a Pokemon I've never used because I don't really play much competitive in Gen Seven. Mm-hmm. I didn't really like Sun and Moon all that much, and I like obviously some of the Ultra Beasts are in there because I, I love all the Ultra Beasts. But yeah, I think the tiers are absolutely fine. Like this some. Um, I, again, I, I'm, I've always played a lot of like fun teams because uh, competitive is something I've done. But I always like looking at like the the meme Pokemon that can do quite well. I keep looking at things like the Dene and Phalanx and all that kind of stuff. But <laughs> let's see whatever comes up with that. Oh yeah, man! Because we get a lot of Smogon players, and they're like, "What's up with these tears? They're this ain't Smogon." I'm like, "No, nope, it's PML." <laughs> yeah, we're not Smogon. We don't. Yeah, we don't want to be Smogon. <laughs> All right, man. Um, that leads us to um, what is your favorite battle strategy? Favorite battle strategy? It's, I mean, from well, doubles was obviously where I kind of came from. Um, I liked obviously. I think weather was one of the main ones I did. I think one of my first, but got back when Battle Revolution was on the way, mm-hmm. like one of the first like, online things I did. Um, one of my favorite strategies was I was Groudon and Shift Tree, Protect on the Groudon, Explosion on the Shift Tree to take out, like, because people would open, like, Double Dark Cry and all this kind of stuff. It was a really ridiculous format, except for just bring anything they want. I think just in doubles, definitely, the weather and things like that. But in singles, I already have, like, a favorite favorite strategy in singles. I'm guessing I'll find it at this point during the year. So I'll find something. Yeah. Because um, there's always fast and like fast and hard, but you know, for all mods, yeah. and then there's the bulky yeah. attackers, or just bulky defensive. Mm. Yeah, that's what I always thought when I was like, I always thought about single battles. I was like, well, I just thought singles were just, if I'm faster than you, then that's it. It's like, this. that's why I said so much more to it than I never even thought about. <laughs> So you say the bulky attackers, the intimidators, just anything that can just shut anything down. Yeah, it's it's certainly something, especially with pivot moves and everything. And then they're introducing yeah. new ones like flip turn. Oh, flip turn, yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's a very good move. All right. Well, trying to learn your strategy, I'm sure you'll figure that out while you're trying to draft. Yeah. Um, but is there a specific mon you want to get? with the strategy in mind just looking through the list again now um again like it's just singles is like i've never done like a, a huge amount of competitive in singles apart from just like pokemon showdown but then i play most random battles um again well i mean, I mean looking now like there's uh there's diggers b diggers b is one of being one of my favorites um that i've actually i've made little videos on in the past as well just the agility agility sweep well agility swords dancing um diggers b it's one of them pokemon not even i thought much of until i saw it had um agility sword to dance and then even if without that it's got quick attack whatever well everything else Mm-hmm. That's probably one of the good ones. Um, other ones, like as if we're like a bulkier one, um, I was thinking of like Cradilly as well. That was one of the ones that one of my friends always had back in the day, and I always find it really hard to take down. It was, uh, again, even in double singles, whatever, it's very, very bulky, ingrained, just sit there and hope to just wear the opponent down with Toxic. 
But it's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and, oh, Manetric. Um, I really want to get Manetric, as Manetric is my favorite Pokemon of, like, all time. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, um, I actually have a Manetric logo. So, like, after this draft league, uh, I'll let you see it. If you want to use it, you can use that one, too. Yeah? Yeah. I'll look into that. I made it for this one guy. He he was a uh, he's from Europe as well, and it's yeah. like the Melbourne Manectrix. Oh, that's a cool. I was I thought about Manectrix. Manectrix was on my mind. I couldn't think of what to do with Manectrix. Like, what was the word before Manectrix? You know what I mean? To try and like you know, it's it was. But yeah, Manectrix was definitely one of the first ones I was thinking <laughs> of doing my local one. Alrighty, man, and that leads us to our final question here. Is there someone in PML you're excited to battle? Um, to be fair, first thing that comes to mind is I just love that I love the team name, the Rillagoons. <laughs> um, that's just again not really knowing the the players in this league. Um, hopefully, if I can do more leagues after this and the other people are in it, then maybe that could be something. But um, yeah, I mean, looking at the logos now, like, I, yeah, the, the Relagoons just stood, stood out to me as well. It was the, the funnier ones. I liked it. Oh, yeah. But yeah. that's, yeah, I'll say that. that, that that's, his, uh, that's his dream Pokemon. That's the only one he cares about. And, uh, oh, really? Well, it's a damn good Pokemon, to be fair. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's, he was actually a finalist in the PML singles draft earlier this year, so. Oh yeah. So he's he's not just a funny guy. He knows how to battle too. <laughs> yeah, so he knows what he's doing as well. All right, man. Anything else you want to say to the fans before we go? No, just thank you for letting me be a part of this. I I'm really looking forward to just seeing what I can do, and hopefully this isn't my hopefully this isn't my only draft league, and I can just hopefully surprise a few people. We'll All see. Right. Oh yeah, man. Well, we look forward to talking to you after the draft. So um, we'll see y'all soon. Yeah. Thanks very much, Joe. Nice to meet you. No problem, brother. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.